tips must be properly aligned to create a setup nugget. Well tips must be aligned front to back and side to side. They must also be at a 90 degree angle to the metal. Properly aligned weld tips contact the metal along the same center line and apply equal force to the metal. Properly aligned weld tips create a symmetrical hourglass flow of current. If the weld tips are out of alignment, they will not contact the metal along the same center line and the metal around the weld will be bent or deformed. This will distort the hourglass shaped flow of current and an odd shaped weld nugget will form. Weld tip force must be set properly to achieve a setup nugget. Weld tip force is what squeezes the metal together. As the metal is pressed together, the resistance at the part interface and weld tip interface changes. If weld tip force is low, the resistance will increase at the part interface and weld tip interface. When current flows through the larger resistance, it will generate more heat. If weld tip force is high, resistance will decrease at the part interface and weld tip interface. When current flows through the smaller resistance, it will generate less heat. When the proper weld tip force is applied, the resistance at the part interface will be much greater than the resistance at the weld tip interface. As current flows, the heat generated at the weld tip interface will be minimal, while the heat at the part interface will be hot enough to melt metal and create a weld nugget. If weld tip force is low, the metal stack up will not be squeezed tight enough and resistance at the weld tip and the part interface will increase. When current flows through the larger resistance at the weld tip interface, too much heat will be generated on the surface. Too much surface heat can create excessive indentation, surface expulsion, brassing, and blowholes. If weld tip force is too high, the metal stack up will be squeezed very tightly and the resistance at the part interface and weld tip interface will decrease. When current flows through the smaller resistance at the part interface, it will not generate enough heat to create a setup nugget. The amount of weld tip force needed is determined by the type of metal, the thickness of the metal, and the number of pieces being welded together. Squeeze time must be set properly to create a setup nugget. Squeeze time is used to make sure that the weld gun is fully closed and gives it enough time to reach full weld tip force. If the weld gun is not fully closed when the current starts flowing, the current will arc and burn a black hole into the weld imprint. This is known as pitting. If full weld tip force is not achieved, the resistance at the weld tip interface will increase. As current flows through the higher resistance, more surface heat is generated. Too much surface heat can cause excessive indentation, surface expulsion, brassing, and blowholes. The correct size of weld tips must always be used. Weld tip size determines where the current concentration is located. The location of current concentration can be found by drawing an X between the edges of the two weld tips. The point where the lines cross is the location of the current concentration, and that is where the center of the weld nugget will form. The current concentration for a two thickness stack up should be located at the part interface. And the current concentration for a three thickness stack up should be located between the part interfaces. If the weld tip on the thin metal increases or the weld tip on the thick metal decreases, the location of current concentration will move into the thick metal. If the weld tip on the thin metal decreases or the weld tip on the thick metal increases, 
the location of current concentration will move into the thin metal. Well tip sizes for two thickness and three thickness stack ups 